Today, we live in a world where applications are blazingly fast. Maybe you know that when you are a customer of a modern mobile bank and you're just standing at the checkout of a supermarket, you just hold your card and you even receive the push notification before you re uh, receive the receipt. Or you can just stand on the, um, um, when you're waiting for the bus, you can see what your friends are doing on social network. You can check uh, how your favorite sports team is doing also with, within a few seconds. And in such a world, slow applications have really, really trouble because people, uh, our users already take fast applications most often granted. And if your application is slow, it can really frustrate your users. That can lead to bad reviews and the competition is just a few taps away. What can we as mobile developers do to avoid such a bad customer experiment experience? First of all, uh, we can be very aware while we're developing. We can catch the most obvious performance issues when we're developing our code. The next level is we can write uh, automated performance tests to make sure certain regions of our code are running smoothly and fast. We can also run them in CI to make sure uh, to avoid regressions in the future. Another thing that we can do is uh, we can use fancy profilers like this one here in Xcode to hunt down, for hunt down bottlenecks and fix them to make our application faster. But all of that feels like testing your application in a lab. In a lab. Even if you have a very good test set up, set up with realistic user data, it could still be that you're missing quite a few performance issues. To really understand what your users are experiencing out there in the wild, where they might have old hardware, bad hardware, out-to-date uh, phones, a bad network reception, you really need to understand what's happening on their devices. Maybe some of you know this discussion as RUM versus synthetic, especially where developers might be familiar with the term. And what does it mean? It's real user monitoring, what I just explained, exploring what's happening on your user's devices versus testing uh, with all the methods I just explained. And both of them kind of make sense because if I only would monitor what's happening on my user's devices, um, I would only know that there's a performance problem when I already released the app, after I released the app. So kind of both make sense, but real user monitoring is also very, very important. And here's where Sentry comes into play, Sentry Performance Monitoring. With Sentry Performance Monitoring, you get visibility into how fast your app starts. Uh, you get visibility in how fast your views are loading, um, the duration of your HTTP request, number of frozen and slow frames and more. You get all of that with not much setup in real time. Just a quick reminder, uh, Sentry is not only about performance monitoring, we also have error monitoring, release health, discover, and plenty of integrations that you can use. But today we focus on performance monitoring. 